Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. I'm looking pretty crazy, but we are delivering. So Dolly is having her puppies. We started at around 7 a.m. Um, I was able to get sleep throughout the night, so that was awesome. I'm so happy that she let me get some good night's sleep before starting with this probably very long delivery. So if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below. Like I said, there's been um, three puppies born. I'm trying to find some good lighting, but there's not really any. Three puppies born so far, one boy and two girls. Um, I did not film those. I just really wanted to see how things were gonna progress and continue to go. And I felt comfortable to finally try and pull the camera out and vlog for you guys. So I'm gonna show you the puppies we have and then I'll try to vlog the rest of the births. All right guys, so this was the most recent puppy born. It's a girl, she's like a party. She's got some spots on her face and then some on her back, I think, um, but pretty white. This is a boy, he's got a white chest and white on his face. And then this is a really pretty party girl. She's got a lot of spots. Dolly, can we? She's being such a good mom, you guys, like such a good mom. I'm so proud of her. Look at her just licking these babies. So that's where we're at so far. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys once things start picking back up. All right, guys, I'm clearly a bad vlogger because she just had another one and I missed it, but the puppies were nursing and they started pushing and it was like out and I had to move the puppies, so I did not have time to grab the camera. I'm sure you guys understand it's pretty hectic during the whelping process. Well, it's not hectic, but there's just a lot going on and vlogging for you guys is just my literal last priority, but it's another boy and another red, so I'll show you guys real quick. So this is it. It's a little bit darker than the other one. She might be going to push again. Oh yeah. So this is it. She's pushing. I don't know if y'all can see that. But she's a pushing. Alright guys, she just had another one. But she needs to push it out more for me. Alright, I'm going to set you guys up. Girl, darling. She didn't eat all that. Okay. Thank you. How do I get this? You focus on the baby. Okay. No, ma'am. You focus on the baby. Uh -uh. Let me get this placenta out of the way. Okay. All right. Look. Look at the baby. Look, Dolly. Look, it's right here. It's right here. I take those away from her because my vet does not recommend letting them eat them. I know everyone has differing opinions on if they're good for them or not. My vet says no. Do not let them have them. 
So, all right, look at this baby. Look, your dolly. Get your baby. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Get your baby. That one was a bloody show. Good girl. There you go. All right, guys. As you saw, we just had number five. It's a party boy. It's our first party boy. It looks to be probably curly. So, we're still kicking. Got all of them out. There's one underneath here. See that little bud? Look how much bigger that one looks than that one. She's pushing, so I'm gonna go. There you go. Get that baby. Where's my... Where's my suction bulb? My main ingredient. Oh yeah, you got some fluid coming out of that face. Oh yeah, spit that fluid out. Spit that fluid out. <laughs> Honey, that baby's still got back legs in, inside of you. So I'm gonna need you to give me a little bit more. Give me another push. Come on. I need some placenta. Yeah. Can you see it or no? You can just see her head. Look at it trying to eat. I know. It's crazy. There's sometimes I've had puppies still inside of her um, nursing. Are you just going to pull it out? No, I'm going to... I'm gonna wait and see if she gets a hold of the umbilical cord. And she might try to pull it out of her vagina, and that would be ideal. But she knows it, right? You know what she's doing? Yeah, that's what she's doing. I'm letting her know it. Alright. Okay, I've got I've got it. Alright guys, we are up to six. She just had this boy. He's a pretty marked party. So we've got two really pretty marked parties, two more extreme parties, and then two reds. So that's where we're sitting at right now. She's doing good. She's just really tired, but we're only halfway through. So stay tuned. Oh my goodness, look at this. That baby just came all the way out. I gotta get you all to see. Another party. We're gonna have lots of those, it seems. This one just came right out. No placenta, nothing. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Yeah, you get that. Hopefully this one's a girl. The boys are leading. like completely detached from the placenta and everything. It's got some cute little spots. Yeah. What are you? Looks like a girl. It's a girl. Yay. A girl. This is, I just tried to heal through anything but oh God. through these temporary things, you know, they're temporary, and when they went away, I would be back at square one and be questioning God again. Oh, another one. Oh, I was so happy. Why did you take that person away? Or why am I not feeling fulfilled by going out with my friends or doing anything in like the college culture? And I just finally started to realize that this one's little. God is the only way for true healing and true joy and peace. And I just decided to stop being a lukewarm Christian and just want to grow in my faith and heal through Him. I'm sure sorry about these past uh, couple months. Lord. So I'm just here today to just publicly address my This one is solid snow white. Like, I'm ready for a fresh start. Yeah, it is. Just be 
washed away and to just oh, start living my life for Jesus. Very tiny. And let people see Jesus. Okay, y'all, let me have this. So if you're someone like me and you're in high school or you're going to college or oh, have been through college, just don't try to heal through temporary things and don't be scared to step out in your faith because I'd rather stay alone with God and be judged by everybody else than stand with everybody else and be judged by God because it's truly not worth it. And you'll never figure out your lowest than when you're distant from God. Wow, so good, Lenny. I guess Lenny just gonna preach for us this morning, isn't it? Is that not a blessing? Aren't you thankful for that? I'm so thankful if you're here and you're in high school and you're in college and you're doubting your faith, please settle that. Please settle that this morning. That's a little I puppy. Young lady grow up, I love her, love her family. The placenta's and the there. I baptize you, I'd like to ask you two questions. Is Jesus Christ the Lord of your life? Yes. You gotta push it. I can see the placenta. Alright, guys, Miss Dolly just gave birth to this little white boy. He is tiny. Like, can you see the difference in size? The smallest puppy I think I've ever had. Like, so little. That's a girl. That's a boy. So. We got at least four more to go. Alright, guys. While we're waiting on the next puppy, I figured I'd show you the setup. This is kind of the same setup I've always had every single time I will litter. So, you walk in. First, we have a heater because it's winter, basically now. So, her dog food and water bowl. We've been got a jug of water to keep her hydrated. I always keep my welcome cart here because it's super simple to grab. Um, paper towels. I have a trash bag here for the cloths. And Matt has undone and hung these for me, so it's easy for me to grab and put new ones down when the time comes. Right outside, I have the clipboard. I have this box with a heating pad that's on high with the other half of the puppies asleep in there while the other half are nursing with Dolly. I've got a heating pad, everything, my phone's in there, and then a trash can. This is where all the dirtiness goes. So this is it. So it works really well. So we're just waiting on, I think, four more puppies. She's on top of me for this one. Another party. Oh no. Yep. Another party, I'm pretty sure. Too funny. Hopefully this one's a girl. Jesus. Okay.
What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. nursing I think he is she's not though so one more to go Dolly
311. 311. And the 12th puppy, my hair is falling apart. The 12th puppy is here. And it seems to be like she's done. She's, looks like she's sleeping. So, I'm going to show you guys all of them real quick. And then I'm going to go and eat some lunch at 311. Because I have not ate all day. And I'm starving. And I'm very weak. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. The next video is going to be announcing all their names and all that fun stuff. So let me show you everyone and then say goodbye. So here's Miss Dolly. So this is everyone so far. Well, this is not everyone. This is seven of them. No, eight of them. So, there's eight. That one's mad because a lot of milk doesn't come out of that. And then there's four over here. So. Everyone has made their arrival. It went very, very well. I'll talk more about that in the Introducing the Puppies video. But for now, I'm going to go eat. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.